Now I've had my salt dough sitting in the refrigerator in a plastic bag for about two weeks now. And when I took it out, it was a little bit stickier than when I first put it in there. So if that happens to you and you're using some old salt dough that you made, just add a little bit of flour to it and it won't be as sticky anymore. After about two weeks though, I wouldn't use it too much because it does go bad. Now today I'm going to show you how to use your salt dough that you've made to create many different kinds of animals. I have these drawings here to sort of help us out and if you're making your own you might want to just pause the screen on this when you're making it so that you can see the different shapes that we use. Um, for these animals I tried to use some really basic shapes so that they'll be easy to recreate. Again if you just have white salt dough that you're working with that's perfectly okay. You can just make all the shapes of the white salt dough and then color it later or you can use whatever colors you have. Now, the colors that I have are really bright, so it's not the usual colors for animals, and that's okay. You get to be as creative with this as you want, just like with every other project, and you can make some silly colored animals also. So for mine, I'm going to start off with this unicorn here, and I'm going to look for the basic shapes. The shape that I'm going to start off with always is going to be the big head shape, and for just about all of these, we're using circles. So for my unicorn, I might start off with this green shape and I might roll it into a ball and then flatten it. Now again, I'm using parchment paper here. Um, you don't have to use this, but this does make it easier so it doesn't stick to your table. Now once you have your little circle here, you're going to look for your next shape. So when I see this, he's got this mouth that's also a smaller circle, but it hangs off of this circle a little bit. It's not entirely on it. So maybe for this little guy, I'm going to use an orange mouth here. So I'm going to get a smaller piece than what I used for his head, roll that into a ball, and then I'm going to sort of smush it down just a little bit. And I'm going to have it hanging off of the face just a bit like this. So it sort of matches the large head shape and the small mouth shape. Then I'm going to take a few different colors and roll them up to make his little unicorn horn here. So I might take some pink, some blue, some yellow, like this. And then I'm just going to roll it between my fingers like this. I might even mix it up a little bit. And then I'll have that hanging off his head up here. I need to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Then I can use the same color as his skin right here to create two ears. If you notice, they come to a point. So I'm going to flatten this just a little bit like this. And then I'm going to make it come to a point. And then I'm just going to attach it where I think the ears go. Flatten it a little bit. And again, bring it to a point. And already you can sort of see the unicorn coming together here. Next, I'm going to add this hair that comes down in front of his little unicorn horn here. So I'm going to take a small amount here. And this doesn't have to be any sort of real shape. I see that mine goes across the top and then sort of comes to a point. So I'm going to flatten it a little bit, have it come down to a point, put it right here. So it's almost a triangle shape. And then I'm going to use a pencil here, an impressing tool to sort of make it look like it has hair. So I'm just going to pull it down a little bit like this. Then to make the eyes, I'm going to use these small white pieces and make them sort of oval shaped, kind of like how I have there, but it's up to you. If you'd like to make them round too, you can do that. I'm going to put one right here and then do the same thing on the other side. flatten it down and place it over here. Now, if they're not even, you might want to add a little bit more to one of them, the smaller one, just to make sure that they are even. Then I'm going to add the eye color on here too. So an even smaller little circle. And then I'm just going to decide which way I want my little unicorn to be looking. I think mine over here will be looking to the side. So two small little eyes looking over. 
And then lastly, I'm going to use a pencil again in order just to add some details. So I might put the, his little nostrils here, give him a little smile across the bottom. Might even make the inside of his ears here. Okay, and we can use that same process for creating all of these. So now I'm going to make a few more of these a little bit faster, just so you can see the process with other animals too. Once you finish making any of the animals that you want to make, you can go ahead and bake them to make them hard. Now remember for that step, you will need the help of an adult, so please make sure that you ask somebody first and always do it when you have an adult at home with you as well. Um, you'll want to bake them at about 250 degrees for about an hour or two or until they're hard. So go ahead and use these papers um, and your salt dough that you've created to create an animal of your own.